This book is about blind deloitting graphs bear partition, in which we recover graph structures from the noisy input unsupervisedly. As the title indicates, in this work, we propose a neural framework named the mask GBAE. And our purpose is to denoise graph structures, and our ideas is related to graph structures and also partition. I am John Lee, and I will take the journey with you in the next few minutes. As many of you have known today, noisy graph structures are everywhere. To name a few, in transaction networks, the noisy connections could be introduced by non-existing transactions. In social networks, the graph noise could be introduced by missing friendships. Let's take a look at one specific area, a co-authorship network, in which we connect to authors if the two have the same publications. There are many reasons that we could introduce noise in constructing graph structures. Let's say we mistake an author as the other if the two have the same name. The noisy graph structures will deteriorate the performance of downstream graph learning models. For example, if we add 10% noise into a commonly used benchmark, Cythia, then the classification accuracy of GCN model will drop from 70% to around 30%. So the question arises, can we denote the graph structures by removing irrelevant edges and adding missing edges? In this talk, we first give the definitions of graph denoising, check the assumptions, introduce the method, and then briefly talk about the experiment. In this work, by noising graphs, we mean the gaming graphs have no missing edges or irrelevant edges. By blind graph denoising, we mean to recover graph structures from the noisy input without a training set of noise and clean pairs. And this is practical, as we know human annotations is really expensive in graph domains, especially the large size graphs. We make a distinctive difference between graph denoising and some other related topics, let's say the graph adversarial line, link predictions, and anomaly detection. For example, anomaly detections care about the anomalies or outliers, which in its patterns have, uh, that are different from the majority. However, anomalies are not noise or errors in general. Our work draws great inspirations from one observation. That is, low eigenvectors of Laplace matrix are robust enough to grab the noise. This example shows that if you're generating the noisy graph by random Cutting two edges from the clean graph, then their low eigenvectors of a Laplace matrix will be robust, while the high eigenvectors change dramatically. We check the stabilities of low eigenvectors and their random noise. Suppose the given noisy graph is generated from the clean one by the following procedure. For an edge, remove it with a probability independently. Then if the graph holds two properties, that is, if it has significant clusters and 
Loyalty probably uses more than we prove. The average sensitivity is of the low eigen vectors is more. Based on these ideas, we propose our method, mask GVAE. It has two modules. In the first module, it leads to estimate low eigen vectors or the class of masks efficiently without eigen decompositions. Recording solutions would relax the normalized cut coincidence with low eigen vectors. Our main idea here is then to use graph neural networks and generalize normalized cut as a loss function. In the next module, we take advantage of the estimated class masks as used variational OLU encoders to recover the demoist structures by holding this class mask. To make our framework scalable to large graph dataset, we take this inter-class edge as positive cases and inter-class edge as negative cases, which reduces the whole complexities of our frameworks. Extensive experiments on several benchmarks shows that our frameworks outperform several baselines in two metrics, PSMR and WL. We also have evaluation tests to demonstrate that the class of mass plays an important role in our frameworks. We have tested the running time and find that our framework requires more time in small size of this time, as it's needed to compute in the class of mass. We also show that our framework is more efficient than all our competitors on large size graphs as it does not rely on eigen decompositions and the normal positive and negative case design. Several sensitivity tests show that our framework can consistently be the baselines regardless of the degree of noise and the modularities. We also find that almost all methods perform better in small degree of noise and strong cluster structures. Check this archive link if you are interested in our works. Thank you.